Hello everybody, this is the Capitalist Games again, and today I'm back with another guide for Crossroad 101. Today we're gonna cover the cabins, together with the energy system and the gener generators. The cabins are the core of your vehicle and you need to protect them at all costs. If they are destroyed, you'll instantly die. And every single ca cabin has their own parameters and their own play style, so... In this uh, style, I'm gonna explain it. Well, there are f three main styles. Light, medium, and heavy. Light bolts are bolts that are high speed, low health. Medium bolts are balanced. Heavy bolts are high health, low speed. The first off, I'm gonna a bit explain what kind of weapons you expect on most bolts. For light bolts, you're gonna expect sh shotguns, unguided rocket launcher, and melee weapons. For medium bolts, you're gonna expect machine guns, Auto and auto cannons. For every builds, cannons and turret cannons are the main options as well. Of course, you've got spe more specialized weapons, but by the time you unlock those, you'll probably have more understanding of the game and you'll understand it better later. Anyway, the first cabin is the Gorilla Cabin, which is a starter cabin coming in at 160 power score with 3000 stunnage, 6000 mass limit, as well as 7 points of energy. 80 points of structure and 840 kilograms of mass. It's a medium qualification uh, uh, cabin, so if you accelerate, you go up to road here to medium speed. And my guy had did add an engine on the back, so the acceleration is quicker than you can expect on most other builds. And this is about the max speed you can get for it. It's good, but not great. The bar, uh, the Extra strength of the cabin itself is rather low, and you all actually want to upgrade it to the Huntsman as quickly as possible because it is much faster. Anyway, the next one is the Docker. The Docker is a heavy class cabin, it comes in, which has much slower acceleration and general max speed, as you can see here. This is about as fast as you're gonna go. Ready for this thing. So you're not really gonna get faster. Anyway, the stats for this thing are 250 power score with 6.5 thousand tonnage and 13 thousand mass, 9 energy, 180 points of structure, and 2.3 thousand mass. As well. For the next one, we got a duster. Duster is a small light cabin which is only obtainable by the close beta test or via the market, so you cannot craft or gain it in two normal missions. Two uh, 250 power score. Very high speed for uh, since it's a light cabin. 1.8 thousand tonnage, 3.6 thousand mass limit, 7 points of energy, 40 points of structure, which is the lowest out of all cabins, as well as two point, uh, 280 kilograms of mass. Zero. Actually, vision for this one is pretty quick as well. But max speed, it goes on and on and on, it just keeps on acceleration. See, this thing is much faster as the other two builds, so you can use it on good light builds initially until you get the, uh, the slightly better Bucky Cabin. Next one is the Huntsman. The Huntsman is almost a common copy of the Gorilla, however, it is of common rarity instead of starter. So, uh, it has 250 power score, a medium speed as well, slightly str it's slightly stronger and quicker than the Gorilla. It has 4,250 uh, 4, kg tonnage, 8.5 thousand kilograms of mass limit, 8 energy, 85 points of structure, and 710 kilograms of mass. Yeah, well, as you can see, it's just about as fat. It has better acceleration than the other cabins, but the speed is only a medium, just like the Gorilla. Last, you got the WWT1. Oops. WWT1 is medium to heavy, so it's a little bit in between there. You can get it, you can come and get away with it at medium speed as well as any heavier builds. So it's a little, it's a bit of a niche one for in between. If you cannot choose between the heavier Docker and the lighter Huntsman, it uh, comes in at 250 power score as well as all of the common cabins. A little bit strong, uh, a little bit stronger with. 5,250 kg of tonnage, 10,500 mass limit, 
8 points of energy as well, 100 points of structure, and 930 kilograms of mass. Next one is the Bear Cabin. The Bear Cabin is a uh, lookalike version of the Huntsman and the Gorilla Cabin, similar looks, which but it's rare, with 750 power score, even more strength and speed, 4.8 thousand tonnage, 9.6 thousand kilograms of mass limit, 10 energy, 140 points of structure, and 11,000, sorry, 1150 kilograms of mass on its own. The only way to obtain this thing is via the market or buying the, uh, buying the, the tramp pack. Here you can see it. It's on there. With the Fenrir also, I want to say this. This one is the only way to get the Fury cabin or via the market as well. And the same for this one goes with the Carapash cabin. See here, medium speed, medium acceleration. This one is good for the medium builds again. Nothing really too special about the test drive themselves. This thing just gives more energy than the Huntsman cabin, so it's bad. Once you get out of the common and rare section and you want to use rare uh, epics a little bit, you can use this one. Okay, and the next one is the Fury. It's like almost exactly the same, although slightly uh, only a 4000 tonnage and 8000 mass limit, 135 points of structure and 950 kilograms of mass. It is slightly faster but slightly weaker in acceleration. It does have a different sound effect, so that's one nice thing. This one and the bear both are almost the same, this one is just slightly faster and always slightly more stronger, so better on slightly heavier builds. And for the next one is the Carapace. Carapace. Carapace is the heaviest one of all the epics. It's kind of slow as you can see. It's not really gonna go fast any faster than this. So that's a that's a big downside in my opinion. But it does have an amazing 80,000 kilogram mass limit and extreme power, so you can use it on very, very large rigs. 9,000 kilograms of tonnage also means it does have a, a pretty quick acceleration until like 9,000 kilograms of mass. 11 energy means you can take quite a few weapons. And 2 and 7 points of structure also means it's pretty tough. Although it does, uh, it, uh, it is 3.1 thousand kilogram mass on its own, so do take note of that. Oh, on for the Grohl or Bucky Cabin, as most of you guys, of the older guys you know. The highest acceleration speed, and the highest top speed of all the cabins in the game. This thing is good for really, really fast acceleration, hit or run tactics, stuff like that. Oh, I anyway, for the stat card, 750 power score as well. 2.475 kilograms of tonnage, 4950 kilograms of mass limit, 9 points of energy, 60 points of structure, and 410 mass. Next one is the Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker is an, another heavy cabin with 750 power score, 7000 tonnage, 14000 mass limit, 11 energy points, 225 points of structure, and 2550 kilograms of mass limit. This one, well, it, it kind of sits between the medium and the heavy ones, but it does have the high energy of the heavier ones, so it is probably one of the best rare cabins out there. As you can see, the speed is only slightly s slower than the bear and the fury one, but you do have more tonnage and uh, stuff like that. But that's something I would say. Uh, that's something to be ex to expect from something like the step moves cabin because step moves are generally the best. And for the trucker, it's not a genuine heavy one. They're less heavy than the Garapaz, but still weren't heavy. It's slow. It comes in at el with 11 energy and 750 power score as well, but with 8000 tonnage, 16,000 uh, mass limit, 240 points of structure. And 2.7500 mass of its own. And then for the final one that I'm gonna test drive is the Wyvern, which is a medium class. 
We have 4,000 kilograms of tonnage, 8,000 kilograms of mass limit, 10 points of energy as well, 120 points of structure, and 800 mass. It's a kind of a low profile one that compared to the most hard ones, similar to the buggy or bro. The acceleration is and speed is similar to that of the Fury, so the bearer is slightly slower than this one. Although, although this might uh, this one might actually be slightly faster even, so it it can be used on medium to light builds even if you want to go for the 10 energy for the total of max and ener 13 energy with the gas generator compared to the 12 of the roll because only having 12 kind of limits your options. Anyway, onto the energy system. For this, I'm going to use the drill breaker because I can easily place weapons on there. I'm gonna start out with an executioner, a millimeter can on top, and a fat man on the bottom. Oh, actually, I forgot I got an engine. As you can see, I got now got 11 out of 11 energy used. I can use both weapons. Same time, no problem. But what if I wanted to get a uh, use my warble wind instead of the want to use a if you're gonna place a robot right there want to use a second robot wind put here it's not possible because I only have enough energy now for that you want to get a generator you got four, uh, multiple kinds of generators I'm gonna put them in here first one is the light generator light generator is very very light only 36 kilograms of mass. It only has one energy, and it's relatively safe with only 150 damage in a 2 meter radius when destroyed. It has 485 power score and 101 health. Next one is the... from the Nomads, the uh, hazardous generator. It adds 2 energy, but deals 700 damage in 8 meter radius when destroyed, and only has 25 points of structure, so it does, it's very dangerous for the, uh, its own user. It uh, also is notably heavier with 108 kilograms of mass and 310 power score also makes it more expensive in the power score region. Next one is the scavengers heavy generator. Heavy generator is relatively safe again, 141 point of structure with 350 damage at 4 meter radius and 2 energy. 345 power score. The mass however is much heavier 576 kilograms, and also it's much larger, being 2 by 6 by 4 instead of 3 by 3 by 2. Do so, each of these ones do have your own choices for that. The last one is on the Lunatics faction, on the the Epics, which is the gas generator. 3 points of energy, 1500 damage in 10 meter radius when destroyed, under 460 power score, 34 points of structure, and 144 kilograms of mass. This thing is 6x2x2, by two by two. it's relatively small for a generator. And this one is gonna almost always going to be your choice on the bigger builds, because having the extra point of energy compared to the other ones is also always better. So, for me, I'm going to add the hazard generator on the back, because of course it's safe, so I don't really have to worry about damage or whatever. Pop this one. There. Now I'm gonna use both guns again. No problem. I do want to point out if, for, if for example, I got this one right here, and I have a, you might think, hey, if it takes damage, you might want to use it like this. If you place some parts and then connect it all the way to the back, so if it gets destroyed, it doesn't do damage. But once it gets destroyed, I'll show it up right here. Why is this part got destroyed like this? Right here, one of these guns will stop working because there's no longer enough energy to support both weapons. So you do want to protect your generator as close to your gun as possible and keep it up because otherwise you will not be able to use your both weapons anymore. Having a bigger generator can also give you the option to add, for example, a cooler. 
cooler can increase your cooling time, increase the effectiveness of your weapons. There are also part, certain parts that have effective to use no energy, for example the light engine. Gives you a little bit of extra ratio without actually having to worry about the energy requirement. You see, it's get pretty fast for this kind of energy build. And I can both minutes as well. Cooling time is for See, I shot the, I shot the cabin, uh, the generator right there, and just instantly went boom. <laughs> so, finally, you also got the stiff like radar detectors, which use energy as well. One, so not all, not all the parts use energy. Our radar does not, but these ones are uh, gaff, uh, detect enemy, enemy in the. Uh, in cover as well, instead of only like open crowns like the normal radar. So the radar detectors are better, but it do, they do cost energy. Anyway, that concludes the guide for the cabins and the generators. Hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned. See you all later. Bye bye.